Hi, welcome to you all to my new session, What's Cooking? It's my life that's cooking. Do you guys remember your first love, your first kiss, the first time you did it? I don't remember any of it, but I do remember her, my first. My first customer in a five-star hotel who I cooked for. It was my first day of training in a five-star hotel. Usually, they never let you touch customer orders. You are just meant to run errands in the kitchen, peel onions, cut tomatoes. But when the waiter came and told us that the customer has a special request and wanted to meet the chef, usually a senior chef meets the customer to take care of that special order. But to my surprise, the chef called me and told me to go and meet the customer and take the order and cook the order. Man, that was my first day. Wow, how wonderful. My first customer in a five-star hotel. I went in, wow, this gorgeous looking woman and she explained me in detail a chicken preparation. No salt, no oil, very delicately cooked. Even today that recipe rings in my head. I went in and cooked it and tasted it couple of times. Without salt, without oil, I could not get the right taste. I was little nervous as couple of my senior chefs watching me from a distance. I even asked one of the chef to taste it. He said, no, no, it looks perfect. You look like a good cook and it looks perfect. I was thinking what to garnish it with. And the chef yelled, hey, she doesn't like her food garnished. That's when I realized she's a regular customer. Yet, the chef was good enough to give me an opportunity to cook and serve my first customer in a five-star hotel. I wanted to make sure that it is so good that every time she comes to the hotel, she would ask me to cook dish for her. They gave me a nice silver bowl to serve it in. That's when I realized that it was a dog bowl and the food was for her dog. Man, my first customer in a five-star hotel was a dog. It did not end there. After two days on the notice board, there was a guest comment card and the comment in the bold letters was that the dog left half of the food. <laughs> I knew it was pranked by other chefs. Even on my birthday, they gifted me a book on how to cook food for dogs. <laughs> but trust me, we are no different from animals, at least in the taste buds. I know for sure, trust me, I know for sure. Because even today, I use many of those tips from that book in all my recipes and you all seem to be enjoying and going wow about the food. <laughs> See you all in my next show. It's my life that's cooking.